Hello Unique Devices, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make this Zara cap. Without taking much of your time, let's move straight to the training. Okay guys, actually the material we're using for this project is called Ashoke. And Ashoke comes in pieces. Please, this particular Zara cap base, I won't be showing how to form it in this video. I will have a video that shows how to get your Zara cap, okay? This particular picture on your screen, you can watch the video on my channel. It will give you a guide on how to get your Zara cap. I don't really want this video to be quite long. That's why I won't be teaching how to form it. So guys, the material I'm holding is called spider web net. And the length measures 23 inches length by 2.5 inches width. 23 inches length by 2.5 inches width okay so from this point i'll be wrapping this um, spider web net around the base just watch the way i'm doing the wrapping i'll also be using my candle gum to gum it down to the base but um presently i'm just wrapping it around to ensure that it covers the cap base you can see the way it looks right all right next thing i'll be doing now is to start applying my candle gum and I'm going to gum it down to the base. At this junction, you can see that I'm done gumming everything. The down part, I didn't rub anything there. I just left it that way. So guys, next thing I'll be doing is to wrap the edges with this applique. You can see this fancy. You can get any design. There are many in the market, but I found this and it looks beautiful to me. So I'll also be using my candle gum to gum everything down to enhance, to enhance the beauty also to cover up that edge that is rough i forgot to show you something my client requested that i, I that i add um elastic here but this this stage is supposed to add up your elastic don't know if you get me i'm supposed to add up my elastic to this cap base here before before adding any other thing but i forgot all the same you still see how i added the elastic we want to add you can do it at this level okay so at this point, I use my candle gum to hold the applique or the fancy. Don't know what to call it in your area. So I'll be using it to hold it down this way. You can see the way it looks. Remember I told there are many of them, but I saw this particular one and it looks so beautiful. All right, I'll be wrapping everything down this process until I get to the end. Guys, you can see the outcome of mine. Yes. This is how it looks. So next thing I'll be doing now is the back design. So with many the design at the back. This is called um the spider web. This is how it's sold in the market. I bought one yard. I bought one yard. So from that yard, one yard, that was where I cut out um, the first one I used in wrapping the cap base. So here at this point, I measured 25 inches length why the width is already 15 inches, 25 inches length by 15 inches width, located the center point, and I folded this way. So I folded it this way, and I still forming my bow. Really many of you must have known this process, so I'm watching everything. I didn't really want this video to be unnecessarily too long. So after forming it, I also folded the top part of my bow. This edge, I had to fold it in and I got the back bow design. Oh my god, I, I didn't even know this part was not recording. You know. See, what I did is I, I took this tip, you understand, this part, and I folded it in. That side you saw that it's curved. I took this tip, then folded it in, then tacked it down. Please, I didn't know my camera was off, so it didn't show. 
All right, after doing this, I'll set this aside after tacking it at the center of the bow. Well, next fabric I'm holding measures 27 inches length. I cut it out to pieces. I'll be using this to form bow. This particular worm have gummed it down. Actually, um, I didn't show this process here while doing the other one, but I'll be showing you how to do this one. guys you can see the outcome and next thing i'll be doing is to join it with this first bow i did with the spider web net i'll be tacking both together with my knitting and thread before attaching it to my cap base by attaching it this way you can see the way it is i'm done tacking you can see the way it looks so i'll be attaching it to the back of this zara cap just the way i placed it i also use my needle and thread to tack it down at this point okay i'll be tacking it down with my needle and thread to make it very firm okay you see the outcome of mine i'm done tacking it um at this point i won't be leaving it this way i'll be using my feathers to beautify it more yes i really want to add more beauty to it so i'll place it at this point use my needle and thread to tack it to the bow to the bow, not to the cap. You can tack to the cap, but I <laughs> I tacked to the bow. So use my needle and thread to do justice to it as usual. So I finished tacking it from this point of view. You can see the way it looks. Wow. Guys, if you're enjoying what you are seeing, don't hesitate to like or oh, support your girl by liking. Please like and subscribe to my channel. One funny thing about these feathers is that you can twist it to any point you want. Just check out these designs I'm getting with these feathers. You can see this one. You can stretch it out and make it stand firm. You can twist, you can play around with it. It depends on what you want. Okay? So, um, I will adjust it, then do the final attachment before placing the feathers the way I want it. So guys, the last one I'll be attaching to this cap is petal rose. Um, I'll be using this petal rose to cover up this point, okay? You can see the way it looks. Yep. So it depends on how you want to place it. I'm just showing you different ways you can do it. So I use my scissors to cut out this point. Then I'll fold it and watch the way I'll be attaching it, okay? Just fold it down this way. Use a needle and thread to tack it to that point. You can gum down with your glue gun, but I don't want stories that touches the heart. Mm -hmm. So I better attach it with my needle and thread to avoid Madame. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so watch the way I'll be attaching this petal rose to the cap base.
So at this point, I'm done packing. You can see how it looks. So what I'm doing now is to use my candle gum to come here down. Yes, I'll press it down here. Also press to this point so it cover up everything very well. Guys, if you love this Zara cap, don't hesitate to like it. Support your girl. Have any question you can send though. You can send through the comment section and contact me through my WhatsApp. Alright, so last night I was attaching is my, my elastic. Today I forgot to attach this earlier on, but I'll be showing you how to do this. This elastic measures 16 inches length, okay? So just watch the way I do the attachment. It's quite easy. But I'll advise to do it at that, at that point I told you earlier. After forming your cap base, just attach it. Don't know, it's easier at that point instead of attaching it here, okay? So, just watch the way I'll be doing the attachment. As you can see the outcome is quite easy okay so we have come to the end of this training thanks for staying up to this time love you all see you next time mm -hmm.